Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk here. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a time plot table and graph for multiple service points. Now, because we have already done it for single service points, I'm just going to do a few quick uh, examples so we won't spend too much time on it. So let's just give you a simple situation. So at a bank, we're going to have a service time of let's say three minutes and let's do a inter-arrival time of two minutes and we're going to have two service points and let's put um, four people in the queue to start with initial queue length uh, is four so let's draw the table for it so the time in minutes will be from zero one two three four five six you can think of zero as, for example, nine o'clock to start off. And let's do customer, uh, customer f served by teller one, teller one customer. All right. And then let's do teller two customer. Alright, because there are two service points. And let's write a list of arrivals. And let's do who was in the queue. Sorry, length of queue. Uh, let's just do customers in queue. And then queue length. Okay, so. Um, because we have two tellers, uh, teller one could be serving customer A and it takes three minutes to serve so it will appear three times and customer B, uh, custom, sorry, teller two will be let's say serving customer B and then um, let's say uh, no one arrives at the start and there are four people in the queue, so we got C, D, E, F in the queue, and there are four people in the queue. Okay, so now what's going to happen is um, after two minutes, uh, the next customer is going to arrive. All right, so we got C, D, E, F still waiting in the queue. So queue length is four. But once G arrives, there's going to be five people in the queue. All right, five people in the queue. And now it only takes three minutes, so customer A is gone. So now we put the next person on, which will be customer C, and C will be there for three minutes. Customer B is gone, so we can put the next person on, so that's customer D will be on for three minutes. Right, and then um, so let's do the arrival. So every two minutes, someone arrives. So uh, G H will arrive here on the fourth minute, and then on the sixth minute, I will arrive. So C and D are now being served. So that means only E F G, and G are in the queue. That's E F G are in the queue. So it's only three in the queue. E, F, G, H are in the queue, so back to four people. And then um, E, F, G, H are still in the queue. And then once D is done, then customer E is being served. Customer F is being served. So now we have G, H, I, which is three people in the queue, and so on. Okay, so that 
you can keep going with that so I'm not gonna stand here and draw another 50 rows so I will let you guys continue with that hopefully you are getting a bit of a pattern as to how to do it now uh, I'm also gonna also going to uh, draw a time plot graph alright so let's do it so we have um, let's do A B C D E F and let's do the time so I have time on the x-axis customers on the y-axis we got zero so let's put in zero one two three four five six All right and because we're only going up to the sixth minute let's do a b c d e f g h i Ooh. We gotta go up to I and realize that A B C Sorry, didn't realize that. Okay, so now uh, let's do arrival. So initially we got A B C D E F all arrived at the beginning right they're all arrived all here and then we got the key let's put here the key we got arrival we got waiting and we got solid for being served so custom A and B are both being served for three minutes Put one, two, three for A. Probably should draw a straight line. Color it in. Customer B said for three minutes. And then we have customer C, D, E, F are all waiting for three minutes so C D E F all waiting C is waiting D is waiting E is waiting F is waiting for three minutes and then um, customer G arrives on the second minute so customer G arrives one two G arrives here and H arrives on the fourth minute so H arrives H arrives on the fourth minute and I arrives on the sixth minute okay so now what happens A and B are finished so that means C and D now continue to be served So C is served, D is served, color it in, and then we got E and F are still waiting, still waiting, still waiting. Okay, and obviously G will be waiting, and H will be waiting I will be waiting so um, yeah you can keep continue keep continuing uh, so I won't do this part here because it's gonna take too long but I'll let you guys fill that in so yeah you can keep going until the 15th minute or however many minutes you like um, so then we can ask a few questions about it so we can say for example when is the queue the longest in the first six minutes 
right? So then you look at this table. When is the queue the longest? Well, the queue is longest at time equals two, all right? On the second minute. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't say that. At uh, nine o two, the queue is five. So you can say at uh, nine o two a.m. So uh, assume this is nine o'clock, nine o one, nine o two, nine o four. At nine o two, the queue is the longest with five people. So you can also ask something like, when is customer D served? And you say, customer D waited for three minutes. So customer D waits for three minutes. All right, I stayed it in this picture here. Customer D is waited for three minutes, and then, and then, is served at nine o three. Right at nine o three, customer D starts getting served. So yeah, these are just some sample questions. Um, so you can also say at nine o four. At nine o four, how many people are in the queue? And then you go nine o four. Okay, let's look at nine o four at this section here. You got one, two, three, four. You got four people in the queue. Is that all right? Nine o four, four people in the queue. Yep, four. So yeah, you can generate as many questions as you want about this table and graph and you can answer it and you can keep filling it in, keep answering it and next tutorial we'll do some, we'll use some formulas to help you get the answers so you don't always have to draw the graph. Okay, thanks for watching guys, see you next time.